Welcome to BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today we're going to do a whiskey glazed whole ham on the barbecue. Man, I'm getting hungry. All right, this is easy to do here. We're doing indirect heating on this uh, grill. Got the coals on one side. And uh, the first thing we want to do before preparing the ham is uh, we want to make some glaze. So we're going we're gonna to do a whiskey glaze here. This tastes real good. Adds a real nice layer of flavor on this uh, smoked ham we're going to be doing here. All right, so I'm going to cut up these uh, serrano peppers here. You can use whatever pepper you want, any kind of chili pepper. And uh, all right, let's get the basic sauce going. Here I'm going to use about a quarter cup of whiskey. Get your favorite whiskey. You can add a little more if you want. And uh, here we've got some uh, Epcot marmalade, or you can use an orange marmalade. And uh, we're going to throw about a 10, 10 ounce jar in this uh, black iron pan because we want to heat this up, simmer it up on the uh, grill before we. Uh, before we glaze the ham. We'll get those serranos uh, diced up real, real fine. Right? And uh, here I've got molasses. This is about a quarter cup of molasses. Right now I've got some soy sauce there, probably about three tablespoons. Then you want to add a couple tablespoons of brown sugar. I'll just bring it up to simmer. All right, it smells good. All right, that's enough. We're gonna take it off the grill. It's nice and hot. Be all ready for glazing that hand. Okay, here we've got a bone-in wet cured ham. This is about a 17-pound ham here, and it's a actually it's a pork leg here. And uh, I like these water cured hams. They're, uh, they're real moist and uh, they work real well when you're doing a light smoke on the grill. And here we got some of our favorite rub. It's like coating it all over. Now, if you need a rub recipe, you can check out barbecuepitboys.com. All right, that ought about do it. Now we're going to be barbecuing this uh, ham here in a shallow roasting pan. It's got a grate on the bottom. No, no uh, ham is complete without some fresh slices of pineapple. So we got got some toothpicks here, and we're just gonna we're gonna layer these pineapples all over the top of this ham.
All right, let's get it in the pan here. Now here we're gonna add some apple juice and uh, we're just gonna cover the bottom of that pan just un underneath that grate. And uh, you can use water if you'd like. You can use beer, whatever you got handy. Of course now I got a nice chunk of apple wood there cause we're gonna get a light smoke going. Cause we're gonna be doing this for about five hours. About 325, 350 degrees. All right. Now an hour has gone by, and uh, you can see it's taken on some nice color, smelling good already. And this is where we like to put on the glaze. Now this sweet whiskey glaze, just perfect for a barbecue ham. All right. Another few hours ago. All right now, through a miracle of time, this is uh, about halfway through the barbecue. It might be about two and a half hours in, and this is where, our, where we like to like to spin and pan around. throw a little more glaze on there. Now you want to glaze every uh, hour, maybe 45 minutes, whenever you get the feeling. All right. Now there's nothing left to do then kick back and watch that ham cue. All right, let's put some more glaze on. We're about uh, three hours, three and a half hours into this cue. This is usually when the neighbors uh, stop on by. Gotta check out that hand. All right. Does that look good or what? Throw a little more of that whiskey glaze on there. All right. We got some time to kill. Now, as you've seen, this is a real simple recipe to do. About the most difficult thing is uh, watching a cue. All right, we got some more firewood. Oh man, just check that out. Man, does it smell good or what? Throw a little more of that whiskey glaze. That's what makes a good cue. Awesome. Another hour to go, maybe. All right, you ready to eat or what? Yeah, that man. Been uh, cooking this now for about five hours. It's about 300 degrees Fahrenheit, and the internal temperature of this uh, bone-in ham is about 160 degrees. So we're going to take it off the grill right now. This is where we want to let it rest for maybe 20 minutes or so. Yeah. This ham has rested long enough. Now let's. Uh, Let's carve it up. Man. 
Look at that whiskey glaze on that fat right there. And that's worth the money right there. Look how moist and tender it is. Have a taste of that. fixings along with this. Got those uh, sweet potato yams, we got some coleslaw, we got some mashed potatoes. Barbecuing up this ham wasn't difficult at all now, was it? So the next time you're looking for a good barbecue recipe, just check out barbecuepitboys.com. 